Oh, another good win for the power over there in China. Let's get him on. Brad Ebert, good morning. Yes, good morning, guys. How are you? Good. Hey, uh, over there in China, obviously there's the footy. What, what else do you get to do? Do you have to sort of rest up just for the game, or do they get you out and, you know, show you around the place? What what, what happened uh, over there? Well, there was little bits and pieces. Um, a few boys, like, um, there's like these markets that aren't too far away from where we're staying. So we jumped on the train and went to them a couple of times. And, um, it was actually funny watching a few of the boys barter and they get stuck into it like that. So, um, Anyone get ripped off? Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, probably me. <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> bro, probably you're you the last that. bloke I thought would get stitched oh, up. No, nah, that's uh, Rocky was in fine form. He was um, he was fleeced in the center. So and I was like, what, 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 what are you going to get that bag for? And I bought it for like, you know, 200 yarn or whatever it is. And he's it's got him down to about 100. I was like, no. <laughs> Did you get a couple of original copies and things oh, like that? Oh, of course, mate. Of course. All original, I'm sure. I'm <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, so that was good. And then, um, yeah, a few of the other boys like went over to some of the surrounding suburbs and um, yeah, went down the Bund and checked that out and, and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, a few of them got out, got out and about. Um, Evo, some trips away with your team are great trips, are bonding trips, and you have a lot of fun, and it brings the group tighter, and um, you know it's a really enjoyable trip. And then you have other yep. trips who are they're a bit of a pain in the backside and feel like they're dragging on, and you just want to get home. Where does yep. a trip like China fit into the footy landscape? Is it an enjoyable one, or? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that's um, well, there's times when you want to get home, and, and like for me, I was pretty keen to get back and see Leo and Beck and stuff, but um. Yeah, I think for the actual, like you said about the bonding and that sort of thing, it was um, it was actually really good. So, um, yeah, most nights, you know, because the boys, we have dinner at a hotel and, and we're there for a week, so you sit around and, I don't know, the cards start coming out and it was good. It was like the boys just weren't sitting on their phones or anything like that. It was, um, you know, getting some table tennis tournaments going and, I don't know, just like little things like that that sound yep. a little bit childish and that, but were, um, but were really good fun. So, yeah, for sure, um, brings you all together, yeah. Yeah, yeah I reckon that's the stuff that, um, that we, all, yeah, we all love, so... Um, yeah, I, I think as a, as a trip, it's um, it's pretty successful. I guess you look on TV and and the, the fans and the crowd probably isn't as big as what you expect. But um, you know, just some of the people that were actually in the crowd were um, were some pretty heavy hitters and, and people that the club really wanted to be there. So it was good. Did, did you feel that the locals knew you were there and and perhaps why you were there? Uh, yeah, there was uh, there was a lot of interest around it. You know, so that was um, a lot of the locals probably didn't know exactly what our game was or anything like that, but. Um, you did. You get. You got a sense of when you're, you know, in your port gear, especially um, people coming up and be like, "Oh, your football, your football," you know, like sort of asking about the football. And about, yeah, that was a good accent. Yeah. <laughs> you really worked on your Mandarin, eh? You? Oh, I did. You know, that's uh, it got as far as me. Huh? Fluent. <laughs> Fluent. Yeah, no, I did. Yeah. Really. Now I want to ask you about the game. Um, goal kicking. Is it is it an issue at the moment, or was that was that just a one off? I know it was wet. It, it seemed like the conditions were pretty tough, but. Gee, we missed about five goals, I reckon, from within twenty metres. Pretty, pretty simple shots as well, well as well, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. that's um, yeah. I guess we've probably been a little bit up and down with our goal kicking. And, and one week, I'll speak to you boys and think, yep, we're we're uh, we're hitting everything, and then the next, we're probably missing a fair few. But um, I don't think it's an issue. I think it's just a bit of a work in progress. Where, um, yeah, like, like I said, on the weekend especially, like the weather was. It was deceiving on from the TV, I think, because it just rained the whole game and it was raining all day. So it was just that real uh, wet, um, slippery footy. So I'd imagine that probably comes into a little bit of the goal kick last week. Yeah, for sure. Now, where are you? You're on holidays at the moment. Where are you? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not far this time. I'm just down in Wollonga. So it's a bit of a change of scenery. I'm Beautiful. The, uh, the beauty, uh, the mighty full uh, Wollonga Hills. So nice. A little bit different to the Shanghai skyline. <laughs> All right. So, what do you, on your days off? Do they are you expected to go out and have a jog around, or is it a total rest? Uh, no, there is a little bit of a session. So we did that yesterday, where you, um, yeah, I just went down to the, the Wollonga Footy Club and had a bit of a run around and went to the local gym and Wollonga and Footy there. Club. Yeah, mate. Yeah, the G's, the mighty demons. <laughs> <laughs> had a, had a, I didn't actually run that around with them, but uh, this was out in the draft there, so. Um, yeah, was there anyone fun. down there training when you were there, or did you do it during the day? Oh, I did it during the day. So, no, there was like a guy helping out, like fixing things up, and um, that was about it, though. So, no, there was no one else out there. Where's uh, Where are all the boys gone? There was some talk that a few boys were heading off to different places overseas. Uh, we know that Charlie Dixon was up in Cairns. Yes, yes, he was up there with the girlfriend. So, he's. Uh, Charlie's he's angel. The, um, <laughs> he is, yes. He's, uh, he's in deep there. He's, he's in love. So. 
beautiful to see. It's, um, the boys have been uh, having a good chat about that one. Uh, there was a photo of her in the paper. There's nothing wrong with his eyesight, I'll tell you. No, no, no. I saw that too. And I don't well. know if he was over the moon about it. <laughs> but anyway. That's anyway. Adelaide. That is. You can't get away with much in Adelaide. So no. um, anyway, he's up there and uh, what's he's gone up to uh, Byron Bay and a couple of the boys have started in Hong Kong. So I guess with Shanghai, the good thing is you can sort of stop on the way home and just have a few days in Hong Kong. So a few of the boys are, uh, yeah, enjoying themselves over there. Wingard didn't go to the US for the basketball, did he? Or Oh, he thought about it. But, he thought uh, about it. No, nah, I think that might have been just a bit of a stretch for him. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, not... I don't know if he could really have got that one across the line. No, nah, uh... I thought it might have been a bit of a stretch. Hey, Evo, <laughs> how, how do you assess the first nine weeks for Port Adelaide? Because there was a lot of talk pre-season, then you won your first few games, and then you sort of dropped away a bit, and then you've had a couple of good steadying wins. Uh, yeah. W- w- how do you assess the first part of the season? Um, well, I think we're playing some pretty... Um... Pretty decent football. Um, I guess when you're sitting at six and three, um, and especially saying that we we feel as if we lost a couple of games that we shouldn't have lost, then you're in a position where you, um, you know, we're looking to improve, obviously. So you, but I think we're starting to get the things right that we've been working on, and and um, and hopefully we can just sort of kick it up another notch to, looking, to go from here. So looking back as well, I I, I wonder now, and I, you don't want to like no loss is a good loss, but. Losing to the West Coast over there may not have been as bad a loss as we first thought. I mean, they've turned out to be pretty good, haven't they? Yeah, and that's it. And we felt we were real disappointed with it just because we really felt like we played poorly over there. Yep. Um, but then you look at every team, and, and I guess you know they're on a roll at the moment. Every team's been playing poorly because of the way that they play against them. So, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think it, while whilst it wasn't a good win for us, um, sometimes you can put it into perspective. And, and Richmond are the other you know, informed team in the comp, and they lose by forty points as well. So. Yep. Um, yeah, you can always look at look at things like that. But for us personally, I think that um, we're in a, a decent position. But um, you know, we're, we're still trying to just um, you know increase a couple of areas and uh, and really just try and try and work on a few things. But um, hopefully, we can you know keep it rolling from there. Well, Good you stuff, got, mate. You got Hawthorne in Melbourne, I think, next uh, Saturday night. So uh, down in Tassie. Yeah. Oh, in Tassie, is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ooh. Jeez, geez, you're doing a bit of travelling at the moment. I know. Yeah. I was thinking, like, yeah, the trips continue. So uh, yeah. I think we've got three home after that, which would be nice. But, oh, uh, look, we yeah. get out of Tassie as well. All right. Yeah. Evo, thanks right. for joining us, mate. Well done. Enjoy Wollonga, and uh, we look forward to seeing you back next week. Hey, thanks, uh, boys. I'll just, see you in studio next week. Just you, give us a little bit more Mandarin before. Just say, see oh. you later, ruined dits in Mandarin <laughs> yeah. before you go. I told you all I know is Niha Ma. <laughs> Right, eh? <laughs> Niha. 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 <laughs> Good on you. Oh, jeez. Thanks, mate. Yeah, mate. Brad Ebert joins us thanks to Comwire IT.